you're looking to purchase a high quality family vehicle at a rock bottom price, you've come to the right place. Uh, not speaking English is not an obstacle here at Hyatt's Auto Sales. He only speaks English when he wants to. Uh, what kind of vehicle are you looking at? What is a TV in the back? Not a problem. I can have a satellite TV with a full video gaming system installed in any car you purchase at a very reasonable additional charge. Come on, kids, let's go for a ride. Sasha, wipe your hands. Don't want to dirty the car. No he does it to me all the time, Uncle Bob. That deal was mine, fair and square. I said I'd have a word with him. I don't know how long he's lived in Canada, but this is a democracy. People here work for the greater good. Tufik, he's just out for himself. Seriously, half of those sales should be mine. Listen, Jerry, you got It's Brampton, sir. Yes, of course, it's Brampton. You're trying too hard. Just relax, you've only been here a couple of weeks. It's been over six months. Everything comes to he wait. As long as he works like hell while he's waiting, right, Uncle Bob? Right. Listen. Good as new. Yeah. Take it. It's yours. Really? It's an antique. It only works in a hand. Thanks, Uncle Bob. Bob, you wanted to see me? Yeah. Tupac. Uh, you're on your way to a new record this month. Congratulations. Jerry here feels... Rampton. Rampton, of course feels that, uh, for all intents and purposes, the commission on the Montana should be his. I was Johnny on the spot, Tufik. Fair is fair. I do it for you. I hate to break news to you, Brampton. That was my first cousin. I had an appointment to see him. But I'll tell you what. If you can tell me his first name, I'll split half the commission with you. What about Mrs. Rogerson and the Dodge Chrysler? She liked the car, but she didn't like the only Brampton. You wanted the deal, Bob, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Of course, Tufik. <laughs> hate to break the news to you, Brampton. You have bad breath. I do not. You're the one who eats the shit food. Hate to interrupt the loving guys. Bob, can you okay this? Certainly. What'd you promise Mr. Happyface? Just kindness and understanding. Good work, too. Nice. 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 Thank you. Hope you enjoy your purchase, sir. <laughs> oh. oh, I already have. Yeah. Let me guess. You guys need a new vehicle. Well, you've come to the dopest dealership in town. Yeah, we like to trade this in. Let's see you do finance. You got a washroom? Yeah, we do do trade-ins. Our financing terms are truly competitive. Some say the best in the business. And the washroom. The washroom's in the back of the showroom. Cool. Sweet. Enjoy. I saw that, Too Fit. These customers are mine. But Uncle Bob, I really need this sale. What are the three C's, Jerry? Cash, credit, and collateral. Right, right. And my name's Brampton. Why do you keep telling me that? Because you keep calling me Jerry. Jerry was my father, your brother. He's dead, Uncle Bob. You gotta accept it. All right, I accept it. These guys are losers. Get rid of them. Tom will call them back. Their engine won't start. And I really need this sale. Look, I've been here for eight months, Uncle Bob. I listened to everything you told me. What's rule number one? How the hell would I know? You told me rule number one is get them to the desk. 100% approval. Rule number one is paper, Jerry. They got to prove on paper they're able to pay for it. Please, you can think of something. Get a grip, Jerry. Good morning, gentlemen. Philip Rosenstein, Special Investigations, Revenue Canada. My training partner, Chauncey, we also work together, and he brought his dolly today, and you are? Bob Hyatt, guilty as charged. Brampton Hyatt, senior sales staff. Yes. 
You're going to need all your receipts, sales records, your T1s through 8s, all your GST ins and outs, and any and all pertinent financial information you have from January 2004 to the present. Oh, well, what CSIS didn't want, the RCMP took already on Friday. Right. Well, we're going to need something, aren't we? Well, I think I have a file cabinet full of bogus import contracts around here somewhere, <laughs> sir. <laughs> it's funny to you, eh, Mr. Hyde? It's funny, like, this is a laughing matter? It's not. This is taxes, and this is Canada, where I live. This is not a laughing matter, Mr. Hyde. Well, all I have to do is wait two minutes, I'll wake up, and you'll be gone. <laughs> You're such a joker, Mr. Hyatt. Yeah. Just come this way, I'll introduce you to our accountant. Just this way, sir. Uh -huh. What's going on, Uncle Bob? First it was CSIS, then it was the RCMP, now Revenue Canada. Are you in trouble? No, no, no. Just ask your mother. I'm sure she's on top of this. She won't speak to me. She's been sitting in her office adding up numbers all day. You're going to have to do something about that racket. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We've got everything we need. Have a great day. Good day. Yeah. you got to get rid of them. I need to practice, Uncle Bob. They had a big gig in Toronto. They're going to be huge. I know it. And I just need a kickstart. You'll see. I'll be your best salesperson yet. I know it. Listen to them. They're awful. There's no possible way that... I got an idea. Thanks, Uncle Paul. I knew you'd think of something. Boys! This isn't fair, not fair at all. Brampton gave us permission. Yeah, well, regardless, I'm trying to run a business here. You're gonna have to get the vehicle out of here. Listen, sir, we've come all the way from BC. We don't know anybody here. Come on, man. Look, we're on the way to Toronto. My aunt said we could park at her place in Mississauga, but the motor's screwed. Engine, not motor. Motors run on electricity. Engines run on different types of petroleum fuel. Right. Dude, tow our tour bus to... T.O. and we'll give you the best 20 grams of BC Bob you've ever had. Whoa, 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 whoa. My mama's will go aside. Look, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You work for me for one week doing odd jobs around here, and I'll put a new rebuilt engine in your van. Sweet. Cool. But no horsing around. The van goes out back, way out back, and no playing loud music during business hours. What time do you close? Six o'clock. Thanks a lot, Uncle Bob. And Jerry here will be your new boss. Sweet. Sweet. It's Brampton. My name's Brampton, Uncle Bob. Listen, Brampton, starting today, I'm gonna put you on salary. Really? 100 bucks a week. Plus commission? Of course. Now get this out of here. Thanks, Uncle Bob. So, what do you have in mind today, George? Why don't let you decide? I think I have what you're looking for. Right here. That's real cool, guys. I'm feeling your beats. Cool. Whoa. What the holy heck is going on here, guys? Sorry, Sorry, Sorry Brampton. Brampton. This guy wants to buy a car. If you're looking for an affordable vehicle at a good quality price, you've come to the right place. Actually, I was wondering if you wanted to buy my car. Um, I'm not authorized to make cash purchases, but if you wait a moment... I need to buy medicine for my mother. She's real sick. I'll let you have it for 200 bucks. That's a steal, brother. The rooms alone are worth that. You mind if I use your washroom? Crapper's down the hall. Ah, uh, that's my job. Crapper's down the hall on the left, sir. Hi, welcome to Hyatt's Auto Sales. Hi, is that car for sale out there? I guess, as a matter of fact, it is for sale. Ah, uh, it has sweet rims. Would you take 500 for it? I think we could arrange that. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna go to the bank right now and get some cash. Is there tax on that? 
You know what? I'm having such a great day, I'll pay the tax. Thanks, you're kind of cute. Sir, do you uh, have the ownership papers? Right here, Mr. Branton. Great, I'll be right back. Dude! What is it, Brampton? Mom, I was wondering if I could get some... Absolutely not. I'm trying to watch the bottom line here. And never mind that money face. 9632 times 12 equals 115584. That's it. 